In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an, a shadow layer or offset in Inkscape um, for Cricut users. Um, first you want to click on this A to get your text bar. Type whichever text you'd like, whatever your project is. Um, and then it, it will automatically go to the last font that you used. Um, I used I use this font a lot for um, personalized tumblers and things like that, so that's why it's on there. It's called Hey Girl. Oops. It's called Hey Girl from On the Spot Studio. You can get it at font bun fontbundles.net. Um, I'm going to resize this a little bit. Okay, so we have it, our text created. I clicked on this cursor, that way I can click on the object. Okay, and then you want to click. On, I'm on Mac, so I click Control D to duplicate it. Um, you can also find it right here in the Edit panel, uh, down here on Duplicate, right there. So now I have two of this. Now I want to create the offset. So click on either one; doesn't matter. I'm gonna change the color of this one just so we know see the difference. So on this top one, I'm going to click click on it and then click path outset and this will create the shadow layer you're wanting and then you can keep clicking on it to make it thicker so if you, this is the thickness you like then you can leave it you don't have to do anything else to it and then um, you can keep going make it even thicker um, I personally, on names, I usually do just t do it twice, and then these holes right here, you can see, you can leave them, or um, I don't like to leave them unless it's like, like in the middle of this Y I would have left maybe, but these ones right here, I, I don't like them, so whenever I take it to design space, I'll... Um, contour them out and there won't be any it'll be just a solid piece so I'll show you all that here in a second so here you have your outset and you can place this on top of it or you can highlight both of them you have to highlight the entire piece or it won't select it come up here to the alignment and have it on selection area and then click center and center and it'll center it on them together and then you can get rid of that and then you also need to make sure the one that you didn't do the outset on you need to make sure and um, go to click on it and go to path object path otherwise when you take it to design space it's not going to recognize it and you're going to lose that text all you're going to have is this black layer so then in you need and then also make sure it's on this page little page thing on here because it's if it's not then it's going to be really far on design space and you're not going to be able to see it unless you move your x and y axis so be sure to keep it on this little page area and then you want to go to file save as um, Mary Chris SVG. Um, I always save mine as Inkscape SVG. Save. Now we're done with that. You can go to your design space. Let me get out of this project. Create a new one so y'all can see this. Okay, then you want to upload it. Browse. Um, when I save mine, it always goes to the documents from Inkscape. We saved it as Merry Christmas. Where are you? Here we are. Open. And here it is. And you can add your tags. Always want to add tags. Just in case you don't remember the actual image name, you want to create a tag. Um, save it. Now insert it into your project. And now you can see 
it here. So let me ungroup this. And since this is a uh, script font, and you can see where they, the letters are connecting, select it and weld. Make it one solid piece. And then for the outset part on these little white pieces in between the letters, click on it and then click contour. Contour, however you say it. Um, and then you can just click hide all and it will hide all of them for you and then just hit the X and here you are and you can size it to however you need it and cut it and use it in your projects. I hope this helps y'all and let me know if you have any questions.